Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I just wanted to come on and share a little bit of information because I received a couple of questions about this. Um, the papers that I design are generally 12 by 12, the digital papers, and I understand that most people don't have a printer that can print 12 by 12, but I do that because I want you to be able to print in um, both orientations without having to make adjustments to the paper. By that I mean I want you to be able to print landscape or portrait no matter what. So let's take a look. So this is, um, let's flip through. These are the latest papers that I designed for the spring collab with Coco's Vision Shop and I'll link information below. Um, but let's look at this page in particular. So sometimes, not all the times, but sometimes the patterns need to go in a specific direction. So when you're printing, if I only design it eight and a half by 11, then you're stuck with whatever direction that pattern is, go is going in. So by giving you the 12 by 12, regardless of which way you need to print, if you need to print portrait, you get the pattern in the correct or you know in the correct position or if you print landscape you'll get the pattern in the correct position and i'm going to show you here okay so right now i have my orientation set at auto let's say i'm doing a project that i specifically need my paper in a portrait i mean in a landscape position maybe i'm making dashboards or uh covers for my for my inserts. So see, when I just flip it to landscape, my pattern is still in the same direction. Well, I'm on the wrong page, but my pattern is still in the same direction, but my paper is going in a horizontal or landscape orientation. If I need to, I don't know what you would print portrait for <laughs> off the top of my head, but just say I needed to print portrait as you can see, it's still in the the pattern is still in the same way that it was designed. It just changed the positioning of the paper. Okay, I hope this is making sense. Um, and also, one other little tip: when you're printing digital papers, make sure to print actual size or a hundred percent, whichever uh, one your system allows for. And as always, I recommend printing with Adobe Reader or the full version of Adobe Acrobat. It's really best not to print PDFs from your browser or anything like that. Download the files to your system. Make sure you remember where you download them to and open them using Adobe Reader or Adobe Acrobat. Okay, I hope this helps and answers any questions out there. Um, if it doesn't, or if you have other questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll answer. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.